This video is a brief introduction to the Belden Label Flex labeling software. Timelines have been shown here should you wish to fast forward to any of these topics. First start a new job, then select the label type that you need. There are a wide range of labels to choose from, all of them purpose designed to label your Belden network. Labels include wraparound self-laminating cable labels, big block labels, outlet and faceplate labels and patch panel labels. Note that this software also includes the templates for the free half label sheets that are supplied with the Belden patch panels. Once the particular application is selected, you will then be given further options. Here you are offered different pair connections for the big blocks label. Next you can add a header to the label sheet. This will print out on an area of many of the label sheets. You can then choose your checks alignment, left, center or right. You can also split the label field. This is particularly helpful for multi-port faceplates dividing the field into two or more columns or cable labels where you want two or more rows or lines. Now we get to the build editor. The system defaults to two segments and you can specify up to 12, but this will be covered in much greater detail in a further video. To begin with, I'm going to show you the different ways to get information into the segments. Then when you press finish, the information is streamed onto the labels. You can type information directly into the segments, but please note, if segments are left blank, the software will ignore them. You can use the sequence tool. This defaults from 1 to 100. You can change this to start and then finish on any number either upwards or downwards. You can also sequence letters. There are other options such as step and repeat which are self-explanatory. You can copy and paste information into the segment from any Windows application. Here I have already copied information from a spreadsheet. All I now need to do is just paste it in. Once the information is in the segment, it can be edited at any time. Here I'll just delete this line here and add something to that line there to finish. And there's the changes reflected on the screen. Another way of populating data into the segment is to import from a CSV file. This is a spreadsheet that has been saved in a .CSV format. The software will also allow you to merge into one stream two or more columns of, from the CSV files. You can also add a symbol to the build by clicking on the symbol button. Select your required symbol and just click OK. Now a brief introduction showing you how to work with multiple segments. I can easily add a further segment to the build and then in this example build we'll be having x slash in the first segment a sequence of 001 to 100 and then dash a dash b and dash c in the final segment. As you can see this ensures that everything starts with an x. The first identifier is x001a then x001b then X001C, then moves to X002A, X002B, and so on until X100C is the final identifier. This is a good example of how the segments work together to produce quite complex sequence of numbers. The software has an auto size function. If you wish to override this, you first need to switch off auto size and then click on the font button. This brings up the standard Windows font dialog box where you can choose your font, font style and the size of font itself. Now we briefly move to our help module. This is context sensitive, so wherever you are, 
press F1 and it takes you to the place that it relates to your position in the software. The help module also contains a step-by-step -step guide, worked examples, screen dumps and so on. If you are able to read through the help module, it should be able to guide you through the software and show you how to save time.